Hello friends, welcome to RK Tutorial. In this video, we are going to continue our login system. But before continue, I will tell you something. Uh, visit my website wavescript.info and here you'll you'll get all my video related source code, whatever I have done in YouTube. And here you can see I have uploaded my OPHP CRUD tutorial source code as well as uh, you can see the videos in my website and whenever you visit don't forget to like here it will help me to improve my channel youtube channel and my website so let's start our coding and when i will complete my this uh, registration and login system i will upload source code of uh, this uh, register and login series in the website in this website here uh, this is the tutorial section and here you will get all uh, video related codes so let's start login enter the email address password enter now login success okay so you can see i'm in my profile page profile.php and here written hi mr rizwan khan uh, it, it is a message from my profile page whatever you want you can put here uh, what we are going to do today so here is a uh, let me show you when someone in profile page profile.php page if he wants to go back so or he will come in login page and he can come to register page if someone logged in it, it should not happen if someone uh, suppose i'm in facebook so if i try to go facebook.com i will go in my uh, profile page or news feed page not facebook home page because i'm already logged in you can see here i'm already logged in that's why i'm coming in my uh, news feed page not facebook home page when, when, until when we logged out when we logged out then uh, we can come back to facebook home page otherwise it is not possible so how we can stop this uh, uh, this thing because we are already logged in so we should not come in my uh, in login page so for this here is the login.html page and index.html page okay so first uh, change the extension of this uh, login.html change the re rename it and instead of writing html write php and here too instead of writing index.html write index.php save a page is changed and here we should change to the here is a link php and here is also php save this page and similarly in login.php page php and here php save fine so here where go right so I, i'm in my uh, home home page index.php so i try to go register i try to go login and i can also go for P profile page fine so it should not happen how we can prevent it just here in this login.php page come here and our, do you remember our session variable name uh, one of them is name and another one is id so uh, start your session variable session start. so our session is start if is set dollar underscore uh, say some sorry and type id what does it mean if session is set if session name of the variable id is set what we will do if it is set means user is logged in that's why session id is set so if we, if user is logged in we will directly take him to the profile page location file.php header location file.php if session is set and similarly uh, in index.php page php copy this code paste it here save now this is a profile page refresh try to go back uh, fatal count error session and start on online 3 
oh sorry session start save it and here is also session start so you can see I'm in profile page I will, uh, if I remove this what does it mean this means this is my website domain name if I enter here so again in my I am in my profile page if I will manually try to go back in index.php page see what will happen if I try to go back in index.php page again profile.php page and if I will try to go login.php page again profile.php page so you can't go back until you logged out so for this we need to make a logging logout script and uh, here we are going to make our login logout script Let, let's save it as logout.php logout.php okay php and here first we will check if is set dollar underscore session ID so if session ID is set what we will do we will destroy the session okay session underscore destroy so all the session variables is destroyed whatever the name session variable and ID session variables all session variables will be destroyed after executing this session underscore destroy function and then header location index dot php or login dot php whatever wherever you can you want you can go uh, instead of writing index write login login dot php save and in our profile page echo uh, not equal just right here okay logout.php and logout so this is a simple code so you can see here logout option is here when I log out, uh, session variable session ID is set. So session is to destroy and header location login.php. saved it let me see why it is not working logout.php and logout this function should execute but uh, not executing it is not working because uh, we must start our session session is go start then it will work otherwise it will not work so in logout page our session is started and in uh, profile page we have given a break here and after that our lo logout uh, I pull, uh, anchor tag refresh so here we are in profile page try to go back in uh, uh, we can't go back to login page or register page we cannot go back anywhere you can see here again profile.php page so if I logged out 
I am in my login page I can go now I can go index.html page as well as well we can go sorry it should be html login.php and Okay, it's working fine. Uh, thanks for watching and in the next video we will work on cookies, how we can create cookies, how we can destroy cookies and for the time period we can create cookies for 30 days, for one year, like Facebook.